Viva and welcome to Archery TV. I'm Lanisa Povra. Today is our first day of competition and while the archers are setting up their bows, there is one man leading a crew setting up the field. My hometown's down in southern Utah, a little town called Hatch. I used to play bows and arrows back in the day when I was just a young little tyke. I'm Kevin Eldridge. I started uh, doing some of the world events with uh, USA Archery and then that got a little bit old after 15 years and so I started uh, helping out with some of the tournaments. The World Cup tournament has usually will have around 200 participants with uh, this being a qualifying event for the for the Olympics this year, it actually has doubled about about doubled the amount of participants that we have. So, so we've the, the size of the field and everything is almost twice as big as it's been in the past. These athletes know their field. What can they say? It's one of the defining factors that brings them closer to their title. You look out, they got the flags on all the targets appropriately. They got the wind socks on the sides of the field, which is nice. It helps with reading the wind a lot. They use the plastic target faces as opposed to the paper ones. Makes it, uh, makes it really good just because the paper gets worn out so fast. Kevin's always good at helping someone and making sure that everyone else has what they need and is able to be successful. We've got quite a team and that's, that's the whole fun of it, is putting, you know, working with these people that we uh, like to be around. Archers have one day down and five more to go, and we are all excited to see what they bring to the table. Thank you to all our field crew members. I'm Lenny Sepulveda, Archery World Cup.